Hey guys, welcome back. Dream Reaver 23 here after a long wait. Uh, back with another Let's Play episode of Minecraft. This is going to be a little bit more of a tutorial episode. I wanted to touch base again on the nuclear reactors and work with the new Red Power uh, computer system that they have in there. Uh, I am joined this episode by, in his professor outfit, Professor Insult. Hello. How you doing over there, Professor? Doing pretty good. That's a spiffy skin Admiring you got the there. Handiwork. It is. Guess what? There's nothing under the trench coat. Want to see? <laughs> nice. Not really. Is, uh, are you Scottish? Do you want to find out? <laughs> I would. Um, okay. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> so we went through, and I, I wanted to go through and make a quick power cycling system. Um, in previous episodes, Insult has worked quite a bit with working uh, uh, Insult and Neoboy11 actually did a, quite a few uh, nuclear power systems and everything on the different worlds that we've had here on the server. Server is still up. We are getting back to playing on it more. Diablo 3 has taken over our lives. Um, Must farm gold. <laughs> Uh, which there's a complaint on that. Why the ridiculous prices in the auction house? I just don't understand it. But anyways, that's a whole different subject. We'll save that for a uh, Diablo 3 rant video or something. I don't know. So we went through it, and I, I we just made this simple. So uh, we will go through and explain everything on here, but a lot of times you will have multiple nuclear reactors set up that are marked threes you know they don't they can't run full cycle so they're not completely safe they'll run for about 40 minutes or 30 minutes or however long and but you want to have the cycle going continuously so a lot of people will go and set up multiple nuclear reactors so they can run them sequentially so you can turn this one on and then when this one goes through about 20 minutes you turn this one on and you turn that one off so i mean you just go through this little cycle we have a mfe over here which we have been doing some testing so you can kind of see on there that it is got some power and so yeah let's explain this part over here now now if you haven't worked with the red power computer systems they are pretty sweet uh, I do really enjoy them so we have our disk drive we we really do need to get some uh, textures to match oh 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 okay first off this is not tech it <laughs> this is not tech it this is not tech it hey insult is this tech it Apparently not because we don't have a Cloven Exchange because it's not Tech It. Because this is not Tech It. I get so many, so many comments and questions and messages. Hey, Dream, is that Tech It? Are you using Tech It? I see you use Tech It. We don't use Tech It. We actually built our mod packs ourselves. Uh, Insult is the uh, handiwork behind this mod pack and actually worked everything from scratch going through and getting every mod that we have on here, which is quite a list. Um to be played on on here so we don't use tech it and everybody says well you're just why don't you just use tech it well one there's a lot of stuff in tech it that we don't want to use and by creating our own mod packs we can make sure that even if you had tech it you wouldn't be able to just walk into our server because it wouldn't let you because the config files aren't configured correctly so we have custom ids for all of our items anyways beyond that sorry about that hit the uh, microphone um so we are not using tech it and the Texture Pack is uh, a version of Sordix Fanver's Texture Pack made by Neoboy11, one of our own, who does a lot of work with Sordix Fanver. Um, great Texture Pack. If you type in Google uh, Sordix Fanver, it'll bring you right to it. So beyond those two things, let's go through and get back to the situation at hand, which is these computers right here. Oh, that's how I got started on that. We need to make a 64-bit texture for the Sordix for the computers in Red Power. Because... Well, since it, it it fits it, though, because when you pull it up, it looks like an old Apple computer, yeah. so you want it to look old and crappy anyway. So, so uh, there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube to go shoot through and show the recipes for how to build the computers and the bundled cables and everything like that. But uh, we actually have it set up to where you have your monitor on the center right here with a nice little light just to show off. Um, got our bundled... Uh, our. Uh, Circuit cable, <laughs> bundled cable, circuit cable running to our uh, disk drive and to our the CPU, 
<clears throat> itself. CPU is over here. Disk drive. Oh, I need to put the disk in. And then we have our I.O. expander right here coming off. I.O. expander also has to be linked back around to um, the cable in between the disk drive so we can get power straight from there. We have bundled cable coming out of the I.O. expander going over here around up top and then splitting. We have insulated cables going from white, orange, uh, what is that, magenta, and light blue. The reason why we use those four colors is because in binary that's one, two, four, and eight. So it's kind of easy to use this explanation. Uh, you can look for further explanations if you actually go to the Red Power Wiki for compu their computers on there. They actually have all of the breakdowns for the binary code for each insulated color on there. So just Google um, Red Power Computer, uh, yeah, Red Power Computer Wiki, and it'll come up. Great stuff on there, uh, and it explains a lot, especially more with the words that are on the on the operating system for it. Uh, you will also notice that going through there, we have one that goes up to the top that turns on a light whenever power goes to the white signal or to the orange, the magenta, or the sky blue. And we have on the bottom a NOT gate. And the reason why I have a NOT gate is because we have uranium cell in there. If we didn't have the NOT gate on there, the nuclear reactor turns on until you send signal to it. Then it turns off. So by having a NOT gate right there, when we apply power to the white, it will turn the NOT gate off, which turns on the nuclear reactor. And I know that seems kind of backwards, but it works. Trust me. So, now to go through and just create the simple program. I've had a lot of people ask for uh, one to do more com uh, computer tutorials, like the computer craft tutorials. Unfortunately, we can't get computer craft here on the server because of the RAM usage. The great thing about the Red Power computers on a multiplayer server is that um, it doesn't. It, it's limited to the amount of RAM that it can use, which is a gorgeous thing. So going in here, you can see that the computer doesn't have any power in. I'm going to put in the fourth boot disk, and yes, I am in creative mode. I give a crap. We, I'm not going to waste all this time to go through and just test stuff. Hey, you painted these. That's nice. You're distracting me. Pretty colors. Shiny objects. Look at my shiny object. It's super shiny, and I'm pretty excited about being here today on uh, the last days for Dream Weaver 23. So let's 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 do this thing. Uh, let's light like this this fire candle. Fire candle. <laughs> Firework. Bottle rocket. Roman candle. There we go. Okay. It's late. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so I would say something, but I do not want to offend viewers, so I will refrain. We put the fourth disc in the disc drive. We right click on here and press start and we go over here to our really <laughs> yeah that don't work <laughs> so we'll type page and it's cleared all right now to give a quick test uh, just to show people that it will turn on uh, each of the different reactors right there. We actually should take these out. Do you have glass on you? Can you make these to where we can still see the top right up there? Construction while we're recording a Let's Play. That's how we roll here, you know? That's that's what we do on the D23 server. We just rock this stuff. It's always about dream. Hey, I want to do this. Make it happen. <laughs> hey, you know what? We, we got to get stuff done. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Uh, so... Now we can see the the stuff across at the top right there. So, what the hell? Ah, there we go. So if I go onto this uh, terminal right here and I type in one iox exclamation point, that's basically saying okay, binary code one. So the white insulated cable activate, turn on, and we will see that the light lights up for the white cable and you can see that it is putting out power and by clicking here on the MFE you can see that it is receiving power now we only have one uranium cell in each one of these because obviously we don't want to just blow this place to smithereens yet and so by coming back over here now some people would say okay if you hit one IOX power again or exclamation point again it's going to turn off the power no it doesn't it does if you, you have to type in zero IOX exclamation point and that turns off the signal to all of them now 
The second one, the orange, is number two. So if I were to type in two IOX exclamation point, it's going to turn that one on. Four turns that one on. Eight turns the uh, um, the light blue one on. So pretty simple and easy to ex understand. Now you can actually turn on two or three or four of them at a time by adding the binary. So uh, simply put, this is one for the white one, and this is two for the orange one. So if I were to go in and type three IO ex exclamation point, it would turn on both of those. And I'll show you that right now, you dork. <laughs> So let's type in three IOX exclamation point, enter, and look. The first and second one are powered on. Type in zero IOX exclamation point, and now they are powered off. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, now I mentioned that the magenta one is number four in the binary code. So if I typed in seven, which would be four plus two plus one, so the first three, IOX exclamation point look over here what do you know the first three are powered on and they are powering the MFSU or the MFE I'm sorry and it's getting a good bit of power right now so zero IOX exclamation point and they're all turned off and finally 15 IOX exclamation point We'll turn on all four of them at once. And I mean, you could keep going. You could add more nuclear reactors, but that's, that's a lot of nuclear reactors to, to be going through there. And I don't think it'd be very efficient at that point in time with the amount of resources spent to build the system up. Do you agree, Professor? Yes, I prefer forestry. <laughs> but that's for another video. Totally. Um, so... Now to make the quick, easy program to go through and kind of just like loop through these things. So I'm going to go through and hit page, clear the page. Now to create a program, you simply use <coughs> colon and the name of the program. So we'll just make this one test. Makes it easy. Colon space test, enter, and it'll go through and say, okay, what do you want me to do? Compile. So you do a simple one of uh, uh, two digits basically and space and then the word do. So right now we'll say three, zero, do, which is basically telling it do this three times. So it'll count three, two, one, and when it gets to zero, it stops. Um, now for the next line, we're gonna go through and just, we want it to power cycle. So we want it to hit the first reactor, second reactor, third reactor, fourth reactor, and then loop back through it. We'll have it to where it stops and loop back through it. <clears throat> so to do that, we're going to type in one IOX exclamation. We're going to tell it how long to do it for. So we're going to say to do it for 100 ticks. Uh, 20 ticks is equal to about a second in the game. It's right at a second. So 100 ticks is five seconds. And then we're going to tell it to do two IOX exclamation for 100 seconds so that turns on the second one the second reactor for five seconds then we're going to say to do four IOX exclamation yep ah dang it dumb broke it now well it's going to have an error when it compiles that let's see For IOX exclamation. This might not work. I might have messed that up right there. And then finally, eight IOX <laughs> OPX <laughs> exclamation for 100 ticks. And then zero IOX exclamation. Now, finally, you want to put it on here loop and end it with a semicolon now we can test this by typing in test when it would type in the program name and this is actually give us a good reason to test this out so if you look at that it should go for five seconds for the first one five seconds for the second one 
five seconds for the third one, five seconds for the fourth one, and it'll do it three times. Do we put in for three times? Yeah. Running through its cycles. What are you building over here? Electric engines. <laughs> I'm going to put a tree farm right in here so we can go green. That's what it means, right? You use uh, nuclear power to grow trees that's going green? <laughs> totally. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Sorry, at the end of this one, it's going to stop. And it's done with its cycle. Now you can put it to go on there one for a longer time, um, since we're obviously using these to where they're just using up uh, the power in there. We could figure that I think it's for one uranium cell to go through a complete cycle is two hours and fifteen minutes and like forty-two seconds if I'm too much of a nerd to know that. Um, but it's right around there. Somebody on here will prove me wrong and say it's exactly this, and I will say thank you for that. Um, but yes, so you can make it to where it runs to that, but a lot of times whenever you set these up, obviously you're going to want to get out more power than, what is it, 10 EU per tick? What the hell is that? Are you drinking beer? It's coffee. Look in your hand. Cold coffee. You just right click. It's good. <laughs> I just, it's just a loud noise. I'm like, what the hell's that noise? Okay. So anyways, is that because you're in professor out in, in pro professor mode and you need your coffee to be working on this all night? I do. And it's cold. Makes it even better. <laughs> I've been sitting in the pot probably for what, like, you know, 12 hours. So now going back through this, if you type into this system, it's going to go through and say, all right. It's done through compiling. Now you can say, is it erase or flash? I'm pretty sure it's not erase. Erase is unknown. Pretty sure it's flash. Flush. Flutch. I'm pretty sure that I just made it go through a cycle game. Dang it, I need to learn those words. So still working with it, still learning a lot. Um, we are going to try to figure out on the next let's play that we do with nuclear reactors how to say um, whenever the MFE is full, it will send a signal out to say, to tell the system that, hey, I'm full, stop you know, running the cycle, um, I'm not going to take any more power in. So we will get that figured out and post, post that back into here with a new Let's Play episode. Um, but as for right now, I believe our work here is done. What do you think, sir? I think I need more coffee. I, I, I'm not feeling well. I think there was something in it. Oh, dear. Don't. Oh, God. If you're going to be sick, be sick somewhere else. Don't throw up in here. We just had these floors made by us. Chris will be upset. He just waxed these floors. Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Until next time. And a little, a little, a little, a little, a little. Until next time, guys. I am Dream River 23. Uh, that over there is insult. Somewhere out there being sick. Where the hell did you go? He died. We're really high up here. I wanted to make sure we didn't blow stuff something up that I liked. So, oh, you asshole. My dream. Until next time, guys, we will see you. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have questions or comments or you want to see us do something else, uh, with the Let's Plays, like something else with the nuclear reactors, maybe more explosions or boom booms or blow ups, just let us know. Drop a comment down below. Uh, hey, maybe do a video response and show us what you've done with the Red Power uh, computers and 
and and nuclear reactors or, or whatever else you're doing on there. I would like to start up a new series on just like using the red power computers to do different jobs, whether it's going through making automated, uh, you know, crafting station or whatever to where you're making cool stuff or whatever. So, yeah, just let us know and we will see you next time. Say goodbye, Insult. Goodbye, Insult. Oh, that was so lame, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> I think you yes, said the same was. thing last time. That just means you're not learning yeah. your lesson. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Dream Reaver 23 here with another Let's Play ep episode. I'm joined by Steve yep. and Chris Howdy. to help me flow. This time instead of dropping blocks, we're drop, drop, dropping beats. We got the lyrical flow and kept the melody slow to keep y'all on the edge of your seats. Cause like my lyrics, I set fire with my friend and steel. A silver tongued gentleman, but, but with the power to build. Dream Reaver 23 for 20 with another Let's Play episode. Dream Reaver re here, re here, re here, re here, re Let's Play ep episode. Ep ep 23 here for 23 other nuts play ep let's play ep ep episode so so ep 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 episode lrm is my home girl building up my whole world running it with red power wire and you gotta have space toad because you know the build craft ma ma makes me smile and industrial craft because my nuclear reactor gives the power to inspire these blocks feel like doc brown gonna make a time machine in game 1.21 we got the spawners that start dropping spiders and creepers and zombies as well with their arms in the air and blazes cave spiders skeletons jockeys and slimes and magma cubes over fish air yeah, the pikmin are nice and Unless you attack them, then they're coming at you like a swarm of bees. You're running like crazy just to get away from them. Get through the portal and finally can breathe. <sighs> All this for some glowstone dust. Now that I'm back, I see it's not enough to build my house up like I was Donald Trump. Ah! Rage quit as I close the game. Log on to YouTube, try and hide my shame. Chris, Super Steve, can you feel my pain? Chris? Super Steve! I need your help right now. Hello? Is anyone out there? I guess not. Let me go to an old episode.